Hey guys, welcome back to Sweet Starling. This is how to make a burn away cake. At the bottom, you want a standard edible image. This is a thicker type of icing paper. This is not wafer paper. If you try to set light to this one, it won't burn the way wafer paper does. So you have the thicker image on the bottom. Then I'm just surrounding that in a buttercream border and then building up and doing the buttercream border twice because I want to put some distance between my wafer paper image going on top and this image underneath. Next, I'm doing a shell border just around the base of the cake just to neaten that up and then I lay my wafer paper edible image on the top of the cake. Now this is far more delicate, far more thin, it's more transparent than the, the bottom edible image. Wafer paper will easily burn and the bottom image will not. Again, just doing a nice shell border around the outside of this wafer paper image and then I'm doubling up on that and doing one just inside. Now here comes the moment of truth. I am setting light to the middle of the wafer paper. I have not seen one of these go up in flames properly yet. so. <laughs> I was really taken aback at this point. My anxiety was kicking in and you're going to see a visual representation of my anxiety when I try and blow out these flames. <laughs> oh, there we go. There's the first attempt. And then I do actually blow out the flames because I think, no, this is just going completely wrong. This isn't how this should be burning. Trust the process. It is how it should be burning. So I blew it out and I wish I hadn't. And then I relit it and had to watch that flame chase around. Don't do what I did. Don't be anxious. Just let it burn. And then I really wanted to see if these black bits would come off, and they do. A couple of them did leave a black mark on the underneath image, but it looks so much nicer with most of the black bits removed. Now this is just something noteworthy. These two pieces of paper are both wafer paper. The one on the left is a lower quality one. The one on the right is premium wafer paper. So it's thicker, it's less transparent. The image looks better on it. I used the cheaper lower quality one for this and it literally almost went up in flames as you saw. So this is just how they both burn in case you are interested. I don't think there's much in it, but I do think the one on the left, the cheaper one, burns with more flame and burns more quickly. But yeah, anyway, that's how to make a burn away cake. Hope you enjoy it. It's a really fun, really quick cake to do and definitely worth a go. See you next week. Bye.